Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yo Shirley, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing some mortgage mid. Um, it's been a long time since I played mortgage, but also a longer time, I feel, since I last um, played mid. And it's not that I don't enjoy mid a whole lot, but you guys know me as the solo lane, offlane, the connoisseur, enjoyer. And so like the kind of characters that I don't normally play are of course the range kind of characters and mid lane is all about that range abilities, range big attack, all that kind of stuff. So um, I think Morgan is kind of like the perfect first um, mid lane to pick to kind of get a little bit back into the world a little bit because um, the fact that Morgan is pretty consistent hero, um, she's definitely an easy character I would say in terms of like laying your abilities abilities obviously but in terms of positioning it can be quite challenging because she has a very short range um kind of kit and so if you're kind of playing against a Bellica with a long range knockup it can be sometimes be challenging to try to like um contest into that i'm gonna go for the army first because i want to put some more pressure onto this um Bellica early on and to see how this kind of plays out because yeah i think like the mark is the pretty key component to play Mogish mid. Try to really pressure the mid lane as much as you can. It's really key. So try to do a on B auto attack trade is what you really need to try to focus on a lot. And Q, it's gonna be interesting. Like there's two different ways to play Mogish. You can go for the e on B max or the uh, Q max. And I'm also, I'm kind of thinking I want to do the Q max uh, because like the thing about like Mogish is if you do on B max, sure you'll um, damage against like the um uh, your mid lane can be pretty high and consistent but that means your wave click can be pretty bad right like you really need to go for a Q max if you want to have decent wave click and have the fire to roam so i'm kind of thinking i want to go like a Q max even though i am blowing this um this delicate a lot right now i want to go for a Q max so i can have a way to like um be clear the wave more efficiently You can see right here already, I've been, I'm slowly, slowly not able to like, um, not get the fire I need to go onto this, like, this river buff. I'm sort of looking at the white one because I think that's the one the jungler is not going to be on right here. So I'm going to make sure I put this out in a timely fashion. Um, that's good right there. Seems like nope, the jungler's on this side, so I'll be able to get this river buff for myself, which is great, great stuff. But Bellica walking towards you, I'm definitely going to try to see if we can go for the ability combo and that will definitely um, hurt a bit, especially since I have the pink buff, my um, abilities do more damage right now. First blood. And plus going Q max means that um, still does a lot of damage if you commit the Q, just like going for the on B max is better if you want more high sustained damage because it's on a lock control the cooldown I would say. Plus you have that range advantage over your arm B so you can actually go yoink that Q from a good distance away if you really want to. So that um Belka is already having the back off because we're playing some really good pressure right there and I want to make sure I can close this wave out in a timely manner um so we can make sure that she missed the CS. But again, you can see how painfully um, slow the wave flow can be even when I try to use my whole entire kit right there. Your first item on um, Mokis is actually going to be Combustion. Like, even though it says recommended on um, the Mega Cost, the Mega Cost is not as strong as it used to be. Even though it's supposed to for Mokis, it's just better to actually go Combustion, I feel, most of the time because you get better burst, consistent damage. But also, that Combustion proc is very helpful for better wave clear, which is Mokis' biggest weakness besides her um, short range kind of kits. I think she's actually going for rotation on my side, so I'm trying to be the good melee I am and that try to call it out. But fortunately, my team is still going to be pushed up right there. I'm not going to be able to um, avoid that Bellator gang. I would love to go for the right move up to take that away from Bellica, but she's so um, way better at last hitting that than me. Unfortunately, the um, the Graystone is going to be on top of me and going to be really annoying doing all that damage because now I have to pick my early reset just because I'm putting the bad spot right there. 
Like, if I don't have my Q, it actually is really so hard to last hit the river buff right there. Which really kind of sucks. Maybe I should hold on to my Q. So I can at least confirm that river buff um, after Great Soul is coming in kind of late right there. Still have a CS lead on this Bellica, so that's really great stuff for us. And we're gonna be able to catch this um, wave in a timely manner. Yeah, it looks like the Belka is looking at the left side right there. I want to see if I can actually poke this Belka since I know she's going to walk towards that way. Yep, we got a very nice free poke right there. Great, great stuff. I have my ultimate now, so now I can pressure this Belka. She doesn't have Epoch, by the way, and Epoch is what you need to counter Morgan's ultimate damage. So a little bit greedy going for the Opulus, it seems like, on the Belka's side. Yeah, definitely trying to make the Bellica get whenever we can. Uh, she has ultimate now, but... Okay. I really doubt she's going to be able to walk this way, because we're just going to lay the damage on top of her. Yeah, like, she's going to miss that wave, we're going to put all that damage on top of her and make her go the long way around then. You have to see Grayson right there. I have my ultimate, he does not, so this could be a pick on this Grayson if we can get it, actually. Okay, it seems like nothing's gonna connect right there. Belica dropping down. And she's gonna have to use the blink 100% right there. Or she would die to the rampage right there. So very nice stuff. Let me actually grab this pink buff so I can actually be able to like keep playing this out a little bit longer. Looks like Belica is gonna go for the drain the mana um, strategy to be able to um, force my mana consumption a bit more right there. Let's see if we can stop her back with a good Q. It, do it doesn't land, but we may scale enough to actually stop the back right there. So that's very, very great stuff. Let's see if we can get her to use her Q. Nice with um, dodge that. Mm, we have no mana pushing because the Bellica drone is quite, quite annoying. Um, but everything we can do to pressure the um, Bellica is just like kind of a W for us if we can try to take this. I think I'm making a gank soon, that's why I'm kind of holding this like spot right here so I can see when the great one is coming in. Nice. So we're gonna take the reset now. I think we can make it back to lane a bit faster than the Bellico. But. Uh... Yeah, I was maybe the Bane actually staying for river buffs, but honestly, this combustion on um, Power Spike is going to be super nice to be able to just yoink it super quick. Um, we are going to be a little bit late because I'm going to stay in base for um, this Iron Mike here, but this Iron Power Spike is pretty nice. You saw the Belica actually um, staying, and that means that um, when she has to reset and I'm back in the lane, I actually have a way to um, go look at the side lanes without the Belica matching my rotation right there. I'm gonna scale this Bellica off because I do not want her to get a reset um, given just how strong we are and how desperately she needs to back off right here. We're actually gonna go on the right side because we see a very low Revenant and Victor. And this is like a more just time to shine. We have a Blast Comb we're gonna um, take right here. Nice, we got the little sneaky kill right there with the help of the blast cone. That's a very big kill. And we see the um, my page already going for fainters. I'm pretty bad at doing the fainters damage, but luckily I max Q out, so whatever damage I can do, I'm definitely being most um, optimal with it. Okay, 
then it's not gonna be enough. Um, I think that Rampage landed the kill right here. I, I think that could have been the kill, but he didn't land it. We're gonna live with just a sliver of HP, so we're unfortunately gonna take this reset right here while we still can. We have Epoch now, so next time Bellica try to go for the ultimate, we can see if we can time it right um, to block that stasis. It's also gonna be really good because we have like a Talents, for example, that is super deadly if you can pop it first, but as long as we take this at a good time, she won't be able to, we can block a lot of that damage right there. Same thing for Waiter. She Waiter um, pulls in, we eat Park, and hope to God we have a team team to follow up and make sure we don't um, die for free. He went uh, Grace on, on this right, right side right here. Maybe I'll look at left a little bit. Maybe try to give the pencil a little bit more love. Um, so let's actually yeah, go left. Because this is a count matchup. I feel like we can bust it down Enemy at this point. So let's see if we can actually just bait this in. Because the um, Quan is definitely going in hard. Nice. We immediately use our ultimate because we have to try to bust down that Quan ECP um, so that he doesn't die to the count's damage. So very great stuff. I'll let him push that out because I'm going to go to mid to maybe go all the way right. Looks like my team is losing that. So we might actually just push out mid and see if we can get this tower knocked down. We're gonna need one more wave, but I think that's all we really need to be able to get this mid tower knocked down. So even though we haven't got a triple kill, we at least can get the mid tower knocked down. That's gonna be huge for my team and give us time to like um push up. Ally tower under attack. Don't think I need it back just yet, especially since I want to go for river buff. So I might actually stay for the river buff. Maybe do like a sneak peek to see if there's a great stone. Don't think I see him, so I'll just go for the left for now still. Maybe I'll do a drive by left again. Like honestly, maybe um I'll go kill the counts again. Maybe she doesn't expect it. Cause she is push up, like and counts has no mobility. We should just literally kill her right here. Like we should need to punish the counters if she's getting comfortable like this. Okay, that's gonna be the bling, so we're not gonna be able to secure the right here. And I'm like way over here, so I can't actually um, help out. That's a little bit rough right there, I'll say. Not being able to pick up anything right there, but my team is still coming in still, so this could be an opportunity angle still. I'll defeat my ultimate because you just gain low. Just kind of confirm that kill and then move on to the Richter right here. Wow, that Richter sort of did a little sneaky maneuver. Can we have a way to finish him off? Because I have no mana to take issue. But yep, that's gonna be enough. That's really great. We have Fainters coming up, so I think we should back off with that easy peer. So after Wave Slay games, it's like an item you almost always want to go on Mogus because the DOT damage means you can constantly proc this. Um, constantly, so you want to go for the second. I'm thinking Costco third for the pen against Witcher and Grayson, but also that mana region is going to be very, very nice for me to be able to um, keep spamming abilities without worrying about my um, mana weighing out mid five like that last one. And um, Rampage is going to die solo to the Revenant. Hate to see it, guys. We actually really hate to see that, especially. Because that means that the faint tooth, they're going to um, give up right there. Because we have three people on the left side and no one on this faint to to contest. I'm backing right now because it's just a huge power spike to get um, waste flicking and plus I need to go catch white. We're not gonna do faint to because our wimp is sort of died solo to the weapon, which is sort of kind of bad, right?
They're not on this still. Which is surprising. Like, I thought they were going to whip it, but they have not yet. Like, maybe we could still go on this, actually. Because, wow, I'm surprised they didn't the even do that. I really thought the painter was giving up already, but I guess no one was really on the side to cap capitalize on it. Okay. I'm going to have to play this a little bit carefully. We can definitely try and see if we can wheel it down the grace zone a little bit. Okay, there's a wall right there so they know I'm around. Try and throw Q, try to hit wherever we can. Um, we got like the brick to right there. Again, play this a little bit slow is what we need to do. I need to find a way to get onto this like webnet right here, but I'm kind of getting busted down. Oh? We're playing up right here really big. Uh, I blinked for that, so I was hoping to get the kill, but if, we, if it's a kill confirm, it's a kill confirm. I won't complain too, too much about it. Maybe a little bit unnecessary, but hey, I, I like seeing those kills under my belt if I do see it so myself. I might as well go left because um, our pencil is not here farming it. I can definitely farm it. And there's the countless right there. I don't have ultimate, but I have E Park, so it can be a little bit tricky to try to fight this out. So I'll decide not to risk it for now and just take my time catching the wave, um, which I definitely should do. Yeah, jungle definitely needs to be careful because of the countless looking about. I'll go mid because we see the one always coming to the left. Oh, may may actually go gank this mid right here. Okay, so I have to do a same right here. I think the jungle is backing, so I'm good to kind of unfarm this out right here. Which is so sneaking them around still, so you can be a little bit careful. Um, as soon as they step up, then we have to like be a little bit careful of, of potentially a gank onto mid. Mm. I'll, I'll just take the reset right now because I'm playing on a hefty amount of gold. I might as well spend it to get all this magical power on myself and make myself get closer and closer to the cost of right here. Yeah, I think this is a mini prime time because see people making plays on the right side. We need to like balance that out somehow by going for the mini prime. I'm gonna make sure I go to mid too. They should definitely get it without me. And I need to make sure we can salvage this mid tower on the timely matter. Now it's just supposed to get pushing up. We should try to punish it when we can, especially with the Quan mashup into that. Oh, I see. They're gonna come gank me. And that's five people mid. Like, I guess there's nothing I can really do if I had five people join me like that. I mean, we need to try to keep that Wimpish alive if we can, and he's gonna get out is at the cost of his ultimate right there. So kind of fortunate that we're just not able to like live right there. Um, um, Morgan doesn't really have like a great way to get away, even with the movement speed boost. It's not like a solid escape tool like the other like mid laners like Gideon, House of Boop, that kind of stuff. Like Morgan really kind of lacks that mobility in comparison. Well, at least we can pick up two kills and someone got a kill on Webnet, and that means that's always bonus skill we are getting right there. My team is making a call for early old prime, which I don't think we're a great team comp to do early old prime, especially since it's like a mortgage right here. Like, I really don't do a lot of objective damage. Maybe an Arcus would have been like a better call, but like, you have to be a mortgage who's like really bad at objective damage to do a 20 minute objective prime. I think that's a bad call that we should not be taking.
Okay. I want to try to see if we can make a heal on time, but I think this is sort of a awkward bad fight-ish, I feel like. Because especially I'm just really um, far behind. But luckily, it seems like everyone got out for the most part. And we have the Narvash here, so we can heal back up if we do get re-engaged on. I definitely can't step up to this like revenant pushing with the Victor, so I'm gonna be trying to throw my cues from afar to kind of like clear the wave. I actually got a really good one right there perfectly, so it actually almost instantly cleared the wave right there actually. And see Grayson on the right side, so that's great, great information for us. Well, I'm gonna go left. I really feel like Count is always a free gank, giving up limited mobility, so we're gonna just call the gank to go kill her left. Okay. I, I sort of want to respect that almost, but at the same time, um, this is like a counter we're trying to kill. I'll just press ultimate. I guess Finsta really wanted that 1v1 right there, but it's always hard to tell what's going on in the left lane right there. I mean, I I feel like at this point in the game, I, I think it's too late to do 1v1s like that, but I guess they want to do 1v1 even though that's a C1-3 counters. Nice. Got the really good pick right there. Your power grew. And that should be a faint tooth right there. Grace is alive, so maybe there's always potential chance for a 50 50, but I mean, we're like a 4v2 um, right here, so I think we should definitely take this. I'm not for Caustica, so I guess I might as well back. We have like um, the way it's kind of push up, so it's not like we can really do much besides trying to get some extra gold at the moment. So pick up Caustica. This way you can kind of flex a little bit more what you want to build at this point. I think against this kind of team comp we're against, we're gonna go for things that the force, like the counters healing, the great zone healing, even like the um webinar healing. We can counter all that by going things scepter, which works fine for our kind of bursty build anyways. And seems seems like the Quan and Counts are still trying to get the 1v1, but my team is not cluing on that. It's not 1v1 anymore. Now it's a actual full blown team fight that they try to participate in. We can get the kill to come on the Grace Zone, and now we can look at the Bellica. Um, and we can get the nice follow up. Got a nice cube stone range right there. Nice, got a triple kill for the team. Love to see it. This could be this could be honestly a prime angle now. Because now it's just a revenant that's alive. We have the rampage. So I think this is the angle we can definitely go on now. Again, our objective damage is not the best, but um, given that the now the whole enemy team is dead, we no longer have to worry about the flip right here. Wow, damage still bad and rampage is very low right here. Someone needs a tank for this rampage, but I let the Quan tank and then I'll tank last minute if I have to, given the dire circumstances of this. Nice. Now we can take the reset. Um, might as well to get the anti blight online so we can start to do some serious work on the enemy team right here. And last I am, I'm thinking of Oblivion Crown, just pure damage is what all you need on this like monkish pick right here. So getting that 5 um, AP stick is gonna be super, super good for that. And on the enemy team, I guess the only person we have to worry about is the Revenant, but he has died quite a few times, so he kind of lost the lead, but he still can um, tap us down if we're not careful. I'm 
try to stay out of vision because I don't think they know I'm here. And we can try to see if we can get a sneaky kill if they overstep into us. But the wave is pushing now. No point in trying to hide when we should be trying to push with the wave at this point. I can keep trying to look for the nasty cues because it's a very good source of way to poke them down. But every team decide not they're not gonna make the miracle defend and they're gonna opt to just immediately FF right there. Cause I mean you never know someone can misstep like me, get hooked, die, and then it could be like a team wipe, even though we have old fine, but I mean this is sort of the NA East mentality unfortunately. Um, compared to other regions that I play in, people in NA East like the FF more than any other region. So I am sad to say that I represent NA East. Or no, I don't represent NA East, but rather like um they people keep giving NA East bad rep and then makes me feel bad associating with them is all I'm trying to say right there, ladies and gents. But top damage on that team and top damage in the entire game definitely putting out some really good mortgage work right there. Cause the thing about mortgage that makes it really annoying for people to play into is the fact that she has unmissable abilities like with the on B ultimate and like he was not that bad to land as long as you get used to it. Like I put that on instant cast, load them at the feet, and you can land that pretty consistently well. So you just have a, a, a mage that have a very high damage output kit just because it's very hard to mess it up. Like the Bellica, she can mess up a knock up on B and then she doesn't do damage for the next like 5 seconds. Me, I don't miss, I press right click, I do damage, I'm a happy mid laner um, kind of kill to life. But again, she has some glaring weaknesses, the short range um, means that like, it can be kind of easy to sometimes outrange her in certain matchup. Um, she has a kind of a kit that can be a little bit hard to play in some certain team fights, like again ultimate, a fake ultimate is always so nice for your team, but the mortgage kind of just does single target damage. So it's almost like a greedy mid laner pick that ha doesn't have like utility, but more on the pure single target damage. So if, as long as you have a team comp like a Quan off lane, a, a Rampage jungle that can be the kind of like front line, they have the utility CC. Um, to do some good work, you can go for the more greedy pick um, as mortgage because you are giving up utility for that more pure single target burst damage. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the showcase of this Mokish mid. And so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me down in the comments about the heroes, about the builds you may showcase. Thank you as always for all the amazing support. If you are not already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single beat by yours surely. But other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.